dodge. I've driven up to the foothills of the Rohini mountain range. I've had a little scope around the area. I've been here numerous times before. And the idea for the shot, uh, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna set the alarm for sort of 5 a.m. Sunrise is at 20 past six, I believe. So I'm gonna get myself, it's maybe another five or 10 k's down the road for dawn and for sunrise. Uh, it's crystal clear, absolutely crystal clear. We've got some beautiful mountain air. It's quite cold, it's quite chilly. Probably toasty warm in the van. Beautiful stream running alongside of me. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The morning is gonna dawn absolutely crystal clear. We've not got a cloud in the sky. And I'm picking, we've still got a little bit of snow on top of the ranges, just a dusting of snow on top of the ranges. And I'm picking tomorrow morning that first light hitting the peaks we're going to get some beautiful beautiful alpine glow that's the plan for the shot kit i will be using will be the bronica etrsi i've got a 50 mil and a 75 mil lens i'll probably go with the 75 mil just to drag it in just to drag the uh, the peaks in a little bit closer the film stock i'm going to be using is kodak hectare 100 i've got one two three four I've, i think i've got about four frames left on this roll that I shot last week at the previous two videos that you're going to see before this one. Uh, so it's, yeah, I, I just want to get that film finished off. Four frames, that's all I'm giving myself tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow morning, I'm going to give myself four frames and I need to make four really nice photographs. So it's going to be dawn and sunrise and I've just got to pick the right time to get the shots. So uh, it's going to be interesting, guys. Stick with it and uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to get toasty warm in the van settle down for the night, have a coffee, do a bit of reading, watch a few uh, photography videos on YouTube, and uh, that is my night. Catch you in the morning, guys. Well, after a lovely, comfortable night's sleep, nice and warm, slept like a log. So quiet out here in the country, apart from the odd farm dog giving it some this morning. And, uh, and obviously the birds starting to rattle up. But it's so quiet, it was a beautiful, beautiful night's sleep. Woke up this morning and uh, frost, not a heavy frost, but frost on the windows, had to clean the windows. But like I suspected, and like the forecast said, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's gonna be an absolute stunning, stunning spring day. What I'm gonna do is we've got this, in New Zealand they're called metal roads. I guess they're called metal roads elsewhere in the world. But basically what they are is just shingle roads. So I'm gonna use this as a, as a leading line. It's quite a, quite a long, dusty stretch of road. Power poles either side, leading you on towards the towards the mountain peaks. So uh, we're just going to get some shots of that. We're about 20 minutes away from sunrise. Not much going on in dawn, not much colour, there's no clouds to catch. Uh, but it's a beautiful morning. One thing, one pro tip uh, that I have picked up since I've been using my uh, ETRSI with a waist level finder on the tripod is uh, maybe in a short fella, I can't actually see in the bloody thing. So, pro tip, reduce the height of your tripod or grow longer legs or get stilts. I think it's cheaper and easier just to lower the legs on the tripod. Anyway, that's your pro tip for this morning, guys. You're welcome. All you tall fellas, you've no idea how lucky you are. Need to go a little bit lower, boys and girls. Do, 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 do. How low can you go? Okay, all right. I'm just gonna gonna have a quick look. I've got the I've got the 50 mil lens on at the moment, 
which equates to about 28 mil. Oh look, I can see the vlogging camera. Hey. Uh, but I'm gonna change that to the 75 mil, I think. Give me a better view. Oh yeah. 75 mil view, a lot better. A lot, lot better. All right, guys, let's just uh, wait a while, see if the sky pinks up a little bit, and uh, we'll see how we go. You're just getting the first little glow on the mountaintop. So I'm going to take a quick shot. One shot done. Okay, I have now got three shots remaining on this roll. I want another two here. I would like a little bit more light on the mountain tops for the next shot. The third shot will be this part of this road in the greenery in good early morning sunlight. And then for the fourth shot, the final shot on the roll, maybe about a kilometre down the road, there's a little shack or a little shed, farm shed, that sits on the uh, that sits on a little hill from memory, and uh, with the mountain peaks in the background, and uh, so that's going to be the final shot on this roll of film. I'm just going to move the tripod a little bit because that power pole. I should notice this earlier, but that power pole is kind of emerging from the from the actual peak, and it looks a little bit dumb to me. So I'm just going to move it a little bit just to offset it. Maybe put it between the two. Or that way. Mm, not keen on that. So we'll try and line it so it is not sitting at the apex. But unfortunately that just moves the moves the line of the road now a little bit. So I'm gonna walk a bit further down the road and see how it works from there. Okay, we're heading for shot number two. And this, this is gorgeous because we've got the whole of the mountains, the whole of the mountain range, bathed in the first glows of sunlight. And the road leading and the, the trees to the side and the power pole, they're still in shade and it looks Looks rather nice. Check the focus. Okay. Got number two in the bag. Beautiful. I'm wanting the good morning sunlight to creep down the road a little bit, light things up. Uh, and then we'll just push down the road a little bit further and get that shot. Oh, should I do that now? No, no, we'll wait, we'll wait. We've got time, we're all good, we're all good. What a beautiful morning. Just looking around. The light is now starting to, to encroach towards me. Nice and slowly, you can see on the clump of trees to the right hand side, where the light is just hitting them and slowly, slowly creeping down the tree. What I'm doing with the shots, I'm, I'm gonna crop out the majority of the sky, to be honest, because there's nothing there. It's just quite bland. You see, seriously, if I, was, if I was using digital, I'd be taking shots every every five minutes because I can see shots. I can see them. That's a nice shot there now. Down the road, another nice shot. But I've got two frames left. I've got a little plan for one of them, but that may change because this is looking beautiful. I'm going to push a bit further down the road, see if I can get a little bit more of the valley in there. Let, let's see how it goes. And that is looking beautiful. So this is going to be shot number 14 in the can. I'm struggling for the 15th shot. Do I just burn it? Do I waste it? 
Do I take a shot of these cows behind me? Hey guys, breakfast time, nothing for you. Saying that I'm hungry myself. Uh, what we'll do, instead of just wasting this last frame, we'll get in the van, we'll drive off a bit further down the road, so you can find another, another little scene. This guys will be the final shot. As I'm in the country, we've got some beautiful calves, big calves, big, smaller cows. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a, not a rural guy. I've got to get this shot before the free cat and bugger off. Come on, guys. They're just, they're just walking off, which is not good. I want them all facing my way. How do, how do you do that when you've not got a bag full of food? Don't know. So that is that, guys. That is the last four shots on a roll of 15. I can now send this off to the uh, to the lab up in Auckland. The black and white box. Bit of a shout out to the guys if you want to sponsor me. Go for your life. I've got two rolls to send off now. Those two rolls will service round about four videos that I've that I've made. So I'm just waiting for them coming back, obviously, and I can put the finishing touches to the videos. Next time, keep on shooting, be happy.